guys miss word here. So today we're going to go over our blue jello rhythms. I'm sure you recognize this from class. Blue jello is a great system. It turns um, reading rhythms into a really easy and fun time. And when you're done with this activity, reading with me, you can go ahead and move on to our next activity where you can create your own rhythmic patterns using these symbols and sayings. So to review, <clears throat> let's take a look. What's this one? Do we remember? It's blue. Great job. How about this one? Jello. Awesome. This one? Blue. Blue. Jello. So we're going to clap it together. I'm going to tap on my knee so you'll hear it, but I can't clap because I'm holding the card. One, two, clap with me. Blue. Jello. Blue. Blue. Jello. Great job. Now, if you decide that you don't want to clap and you want to use finger symbols, you can use blue. So you point your finger down, blue. You can use this one for jello. Jello. Okay? And you can tap that on the table, whatever works for you. So that would be blue, jello, blue, blue, jello. Great job. Let's move on to another one. Let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, this is one I really like. Now, <clears throat> I know that this one is going to be a little bit more challenging, okay? And it's a little bit more challenging because of this half note, okay? Now, if you're reading the half note, when we say, when we see a half note, we know it gets two beats and we call it two, okay? So let's try this together. Two, good job. How about this one? Do we know what we call this one? We call this one rest. Rest. Blue. Great job. Let's clap it together. So the way that we do two is like this. Two. Okay? Or you can go two. Either is fine for me. When we see a rest, we go like this. Rest. Okay? One, two. Clap with me. Two. Rest. Rest. Blue. Great job. Let's see. Hmm. All right. This one uses our blue and our rests. Can you clap it? One, two. Clap with me. Blue. Rest. Rest. Blue. Great job. All right, so let's see if we can do a more complicated one. There are some really fun rhythms that I know you guys are missing out on. Let's see. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Any of you remember this one? So these are called 16th notes. When you see them, um, a lot of times in music class or if in band or orchestra, you'll see it and there's a variety of ways you can say it. Basically, it's taking four notes and putting them in the space of one beat. So we call this tika tika a lot of times. Uh, when you teach piano lessons or when you're doing band or orchestra, tika tika it is. But for this purpose, this one is called huckleberry. Can everybody say huckleberry? Huckleberry. Great job. Okay, so for this one, this one's really fun. The way you clap huckleberry is huckleberry. And if you want to uh, do your hand signals for it, huckleberry is this. Huckleberry. Okay. You ready? Let's read this together. One, two, stay with me. Huckleberry, 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 huckleberry. Now, if that doesn't make you smile, even on a gloomy day, I don't know what will. All right, let's pick another one. Keep in mind, some of these might be backwards. So I acknowledge that that half note may have been backwards, but we do what we can. All right. Ooh, let's find pineapple. We like 